Hi guys, welcome. My name is Deanna and I am a Lego Harry Potter fanatic. <laughs> Today we are reviewing the Boobatten's Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts. This set is just 430 pieces. It retails at $49.99, but I got it on sale at Target for $39.99. Thanks, Target. And it took me like an hour to build. It was an easy build. But for me, this is one of those ones where you start building axles and bases and you don't know what you're building until it becomes something. And I personally just enjoy when you're building Legos, you already know what you're building the whole time. But Lego did such a good job with this Harry Potter set. It is stunning. This is based off of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Boo Battens is another magical school that is participating in the Triwizard Tournament. Madame Maxine is the head mistress for Boo Battens, and she flies this giant carriage that is described as being as big as a house to Hogwarts, and her students that are eligible to compete in the Triwizard Tournament all stay in the carriage. They don't stay in the dormitories at Hogwarts. They all stay in the carriage. Hagrid is beyond excited about this. For one, because he gets new flying horses to play with. They're actually called Abraxans. I thought that they were Pegasuses and I was totally wrong. And I'm sure Hagrid would totally scold me for thinking every flying horse is exactly the same. <laughs> Silly Deanna. Yeah. We also get Gabrielle. Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel? I'm not really sure how to say that name in French, but she is Fleur Delacour's younger sister. Gabrielle is actually eight years old, so she is way too young to be on this trip, but she is the thing that Floor cares about most in the entire world, and she will actually be stolen, taken, kidnapped. I'm not sure. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. She's definitely taken in the second challenge of the Triwizard Tournament, as the thing that Floor cares about most in the entire world. Fun fact about the Delacours, they're actually part Vila. And Vilas are kind of like sirens, kind of like banshees. Basically, they're super, super beautiful women that can manipulate men easy. And then when they get mad, they get really mad and they're kind of crazy and psycho. Mm -hmm. Not the best person to choose as a champion. Floor's wand is actually Vila Core from her grandmother's head because Flora's grandmother is 100% Vila. It also helps Flora really entice all the guys at Hogwarts because they all go crazy for Flora. I mean, she's already like a gorgeous French blonde woman and then she's like part creature that literally just oozes sex appeal. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Madame Maxine is actually a giantress. G giant, giant. Giant Triss, giant, giant. She's a female giant. So Hagrid is so excited to finally have a half giant playmate to, you know, have romantic encounters with. I'm sure that's super exciting for him because you know what? Hagrid deserves love too. He totally does. I like that Lego chose to depict all of them in their arrival clothes or uniforms. So like this is the Boo Batten's uniform. This is how we see Madame Maxine for the first time. And do you see this? Hagrid is wearing a tie. He is so excited to see this woman. He's actually holding a bottle of single malt whiskey because the Abraxans only drink single malt whiskey. Madame Maxine actually raises them herself. It is actually illegal to travel by Abrax. Madame Maxine has to get special uh, privilege from the Ministry of Magic to cross into UK borders with her flying horses. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit closer. Look at all the details on that carriage. Aww. Very Renaissance. I love the powder blue. I love all the gold detailing in there. There's even luggage on the back. Check this out. The top just pops off. <laughs> and now it's giant. 
It's giant. I love it because it is where all of the Bubatan students stay on Hogwarts grounds. They don't stay in Hogwarts. They stay here. And it looks really beautiful. From the inside, you can see a couple beds there. We've got tea going on. Not the worst home away from home. And again, I think Lego just did a really good job of making this a little bit ornate and just more beautiful. Oh, oh, hey. If you were part something magical, what would you be? Comment down below and let me know. Or just drop in the comments and say hello. Make sure you also like this video while you're down there. If you'd like to check out detailed photos of this build, you can do so on my Instagram, at Lego HP Fanatic. If you would like to check out another one of my videos, please do so right here. Or if you would like to subscribe to my channel, do so right there, right there, right there. Subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>